Princess Beatrice and her husband, Eduardo Mapelli Mozzi, will no doubt be celebrating today. That's because their daughter Sienna turns two and will more than likely have a fun day to look forward to. Over the past few years, Sienna's birth, as well as the arrival of her cousins August and Ernest, the sons of Princess Eugenie, have shaken up the royal's line of succession. But unlike her cousins, Sienna, who is tenth in line to the throne, is actually eligible for a royal title. And it's not down to her mum Beatrice, it's all thanks to Dad Edo. Edo is actually an Italian count, which means his children also inherit a count or countess title. Speaking to the Daily Mail, Eduardo's dad, Count Alessandro Mapelli Mozzi, explained, Eduardo is the only male descendant taking the family into the next generation. He is a count, his wife will be a countess automatically, and any of their children will be counts or nobile donna. Neither Beatrice nor Eugenie's children are entitled to British royal titles, as they are not grandchildren of the monarch. King Charles is their great-uncle. Earlier this year, the children's grandmother Fergie spoke out about her pride in her grandchildren in the second episode of her podcast, Tea Talks with the Duchess and Sarah. She told how she enjoyed spending time with Sienna, who had been over to stay while Beatrice was in Jordan for the wedding of Crown Prince Hussein and Princess Rajwa in June. Meanwhile, Fergie also said she cried when Eugenie told her that her newborn baby son would be named after the Duchess's late father. Eugenie and husband Jack Brooksbank welcomed Ernest George Ronnie Brooksbank on May 30th, only revealing the news a week after his birth. The middle name Ronnie is in tribute to Sarah's late father, Major Ronald Ferguson, who died in 2003. Sarah, speaking publicly about her new grandchild for the first time, described Ernest as a seriously beautiful little boy and said the gesture moved her to tears. She said of hearing of his name, When Jack and Eugenie told me it was so moving that they had put my dad in there, it was so kind, I thought, it made me cry.